Do you ever feel like you're on the hamster wheel in your business, running faster and faster, getting busier and busier, but you're still not moving anywhere? Well, there may be a simple reason for that. Hi, I'm Drew from Impala Accountants, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a strategy for your business using a simple two-step framework that's gonna give you direction and help move your business from A to B with less time and less stress. So what is a strategy? A strategy is a clear framework that helps guide the actions of your business to help achieve its goals. Think of it like a compass or Google Maps and that's gonna help you navigate. Without a clear strategy, you may eventually get from A to B, but there's a good chance that you've taken the long, rocky road. So creating a strategy is not just for big businesses. Anyone can do it if you follow the simple two-step process. Step one of the framework is where to play. So this refers to the markets you want to compete in, and just as importantly, the markets you want to avoid. Start by writing down your customers, the ones that you want to serve. Who are they? Where are they? How big are they? What do they value? Are they local? Are they national? Are they global? Are you selling B2B, B2C, purely online? Just jot them down and rank them in order and that should be a good start. Next, write down the products and services that you'll be providing to your customers and start ranking them based on value. Which ones are the most profitable? Which ones are the most scalable? which ones are unique to your business and which ones that you enjoy. Step two of the framework is how to win. So this refers to your competitive advantages. What makes you unique and why the customers value it. Start by writing down your unique strengths and then test it. Do the customers actually value it? If they don't value it, it's not really a strength in your business. The harder your strength or competitive advantage is to imitate, then the better it's going to be. Start by writing down the unique strengths of your business and then test it. Do the customers actually value it? If the customers don't value it, then it's not really a strength or a competitive advantage. Often with a competitive advantage, the harder it is to imitate, then the better it's going to be. If you're having trouble with this step to try to work out your competitive advantages, Compare yourself to some of the competitors in your industry. Look at what they do well, look at what you do well, and I'm sure you'll find some gaps where you do things better than them. With competitive advantages, most businesses fall in one of three categories. The first category of competitive advantage is scale. So think of your Bunnings, your big supermarkets, your Walmarts, and those types of businesses in the world. So they win on price, they win on providing options, and they win on being convenient. The next competitive advantage is speed. So think about your Apples and the Teslas of the world. They win on design, execution, and innovation. They're the market leaders in their chosen fields. The third competitive advantage is scope. So think about most service-based businesses and most small and medium businesses. They win on knowing the customer really well, providing a really good customer experience, customer intimacy, tailored solutions and the like. Now, if you followed those simple steps, you should have yourself a basic strategy that's gonna give you some direction and help move you from A to B with less time and stress. So if you'd like help with some strategy to give you direction and help your business, click on the link around this video and book a 15 minute strategy call with our team. We will give you three things. We'll help you assess where you are, assess where you want to be, and give you a couple of action steps on how to get there.